Let's talk tape with watercolor because there's a couple reasons why we use it. The first reason is purely aesthetic. It looks nice when you have nice crisp edges. If you don't like this, you don't have to tape them off. The other reasons are more practical, but first let's talk about what this is, what I tape it down to, because I often get asked where to buy this. I just save the backs of all the sketchbooks or pads of paper that I finish, and this is what I use. One of the most practical reasons we use tape is because we often work at an angle when we're painting with watercolor, and if it's unsecured, it'll move around on you. The other reason is that as we add water to paper, it's going to buckle. Now the tape doesn't completely stop this from happening, but it does disperse the pressure and it reduces it and also makes it a more even buckle. Finally, let's talk about what type of tape you should use because we've tested all sorts on this channel. Frog tape, blue painters tape, masking tape, scotch tape, artist tape, drafting tape, and even more. Aside from the frog tape, they all work pretty well. Some have crisper lines, some remove a little bit easier. Ultimately, I mainly reach for masking tape and washi tape. You can tell my masking tape is empty because I've used it all. 